the center option. Okay, well, uh, hi everyone. My name is Mike Easton. I am currently serving as the chair of the visual arts department here at Duke Ellington School of the Arts. Uh, I am also an alum, uh, class of 1982. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't take the time out to acknowledge uh, Peggy Kafer Cooper, as well as Mike Malone, the founders of Duke Ellington School of the Arts, and had it not been for those uh, two individuals who had a, a dream in their heart to uh, present art to what would be considered our underserved community, I might not have had this opportunity to work as I am today as a professional artist and educator. So gratitude and appreciation to uh, our founders. Um, so now, uh, as a graduate and also a staff member, uh, what's most important to us here in the visual arts department is to develop the art scholar. And our goal is to uh, train them uh, so that they discover their artistic voice. Now this will give them an opportunity to go out into the world and continue the legacy that Mike and Peggy had in mind. Um, so how do we do this? We do this through and by introducing our students to the elements and principles of art and design. So for those who may not be familiar with it, just so some of that information just requires you to understand line, shape, color, value, texture, and then we move into balance, uh, repetition, and things of that nature. So students learn over a uh, period of time how to implement this information in their work in order to effectively communicate to their audience. All right. Um, there are a lot of things that could be said about Mr. Easton as a teacher as an educator, as a person, but one word that sticks out to me is consistent and resilient. He always tries to put his best foot forward and push these students to do the best that they can and be the best person and artist that they can be. At the end of the day, his job or his objective has always been to create the art scholar. And no matter what the student's skill level is, anything, he will always push you to try to be your best because he sees in you that you can do, that you can be a artist. And I admire him a lot. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have been able to work with him. So yes, if Mr. Easton is seeing this, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for the department, me personally, and the care that you've shown towards your students. It's really, unfortunate that Mr. E has to go so soon, especially so close to like the end of our junior year. We won't be able to see him senior year, but I'm sure he'll probably come back, say hi to us, see us in our senior series, which would be nice. Mr. E has done a lot for the students here. He's made a big impression on a lot of the students. Um, he's gonna be greatly missed, and I know we all love him, Like. We make jokes and stuff, but we love him. Like, he's become a big part of this department. And it's sad that he's going, but I hope he has a good time um, after he leaves and retires. Oh, God. Okay. That's it. Really sorry. Hi, Mr. E. <laughs> um, I really appreciate you being able to uh, take care and teach all of us VA students. We really appreciate you, especially me. I'm always um, coming to your classroom early or coming during lunch to work on some stuff uh, because you really inspired me to pursue what I want to do with my life. Like when I first came here, I wasn't really too sure. I was just drawing just because I thought it was fun. Uh, I wasn't really painting either, but after my sophomore and junior year, you really put me in the right direction. Um, I know where I want to go for college. I figured out that I want to study abroad. Um, I want to pursue painting just like you and start up at $35,000 like you always tell us. Um, but 
Yeah, you really, you really are an inspiration and a blessing to all of us. And uh, it's sad to see you go. Please come back to see my senior series. I will, you will love it. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy. But yeah, we love you. Thank you. Hi, Mr. E. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've done for us over these, well, for me, um, specifically through these two years that I've been here. You've been very supportive and a very good mentor um, during my duration here. And your, little, your leadership um, in this department is something that's very valued and appreciated. And I hope that your journey and what you do after the school is something that you'll enjoy. Um, thank you for everything and bye. All right. Hey, Mr. Easton, I hope you're having a great day and an even better retirement. I hope you know that through all the years I've been here, you've been one of the most pleasant and amazing people I've ever worked with. I'm so thankful to have learned under you and studied under you. And overall, I wish you the very best. Thank you. Hi, Mr. E. Um, I wanted to say thank you. Um, you could have been doing lots of other things with your time throughout your art journey, like gathering more fame or collecting more wealth, but you chose to spend time with the youth here at Duke Ellington. And so I thank you for that. And I thank you very much for helping me, especially because at times I'm kind of a little, I guess I'm a little goofy. I do a lot of weird, random things. And sometimes I struggle with like, keeping the material down, but you really helped me get through it. So thank you. One thing I can say about Mr. E is that he is, he's kind of like amazing. And he's just like, when I walk into his classroom, it's just like, like the vibes in there, they're just like amazing. Like he makes me feel like I really want to do art. Like I really want to like be good and I want to get better at what I do and I can pursue anything I want to pursue. Every single like 15 minute lecture he goes on, it, even if they're 15 minutes, they're always helpful. They always help in some type of way. He always helps in some type of way, no matter who it is. He never, he never discriminates. He never says anything bad. He's just, he's a teacher. He comes here and he does what he needs to do every single day. And it's just amazing. And I look up to him. I'm, I'm like, I'm one of his favorite students. <laughs> like, like, but uh, he's just wonderful. I love him, and um, yeah, like I just, I love Mr. E. I love you, Mr. E. You know, I love you madly. God, thank you. God, um, hi, Mr. Easton. I know many people are gonna say this, but you truly have inspired me. And the fact that so many other people can save us as well shows just like how much you've influenced this department in the school in all of our lives. Like when I came to the school, I was just like a young freshman. I didn't expect I was going to be doing much with my life, right? But you, when I had this interview with you back when I was in the eighth grade, you gave me um, the courage to apply to the school and like fully, how would I say this, but like fully go and actively try to like conquer my dreams because you've opened up so many different possibilities to me. I never would be the person that I am right now without you. Um, you've built me up, you've helped me break it back down so I can figure out what I'm lacking. And you've helped me open up like to this world of all these new possibilities. And also to see that like I have all these amazing peers that you've also taught and helped. And so we can all work together and build ourselves up all because of you. I just want to say thank you so much and um, we're really going to miss you. But look forward to great things from the class of 2026. Thank you. I'm... Um... Mr. E was one of the teachers, I'd say, impacted me most um, this past year because, like, he was there for um, my whole audition process. And um, I had him for drawing one teacher, and as the head, he would um, always come in and, like, see us and just his um, losses could completely change everything and it's it's just gonna be um, really different without him and go really miss him. I'm kind of nervous how things are gonna be or curious about how things are gonna be when he's gone but I know um, 
that everyone really loves him and um, me too. And I know everyone's gonna um, remember his energy and um, I hope to continue that um, energy and passion for VA. Any of the new teachers have quite um, big shoes to fill. I can start. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you, Mr. E, for inspiring all of us. A lot already said that, but I feel like you inspired me in a whole different vision in the world. I'm a little nervous, but that's because I don't really know what to say. Because if I were to see you in person, I feel like you just jaw dropped me. I don't know how to explain it, but there's just a lot of words that could be said, but there's just no specific word to express it. But thank you so much for what you've done and helping me find my confidence. Thank you, Mr. Easton, for this year. This school year, I've learned more from you than I have in years from any other arts teacher. And um, I'm, the only thing I'm not happy about is that you won't get to see me grow over these next four years. I appreciate what you've taught me and what you've taught everybody around me. Thank you. All right. Um, hey, Mr. E, what's going on? It's uh, your well, you already know who I am, but I just want to say thank you because without you, I probably wouldn't be in the school building right now. Uh, you were. You were willing to, you know, help me out with what I had to do before auditions, and I think that really got my head straight to audition for the school. So because of you, I'm here. And even after that, you helped me improve in my artwork and where what I wanted to do with my art. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, you're old as crap now, but you know, we still love you. Thanks, man. Okay. Hi, Mr. E. I'm a little bit sad that you're leaving us like on like right after my first year of school, but I am glad that I did have the opportunity of working with you because with the little time that we did have, you taught me how to be confident when I'm doing my work. So I'm not doubting myself whenever I try and do something. And you made me realize my potential of working and that I'm not just always stuck in one spot, that I can go farther. and. I like the fact that you will always push me, so thank you. Okay, um, do I say hi? Sure. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Hi, <laughs> Mr. E. I want to say thank you for everything, and you were definitely like the foundation for my art, for my journey as an aspiring artist, and um, even during lectures and when you have critiques, you see right through me and you tell me everything that I need to hear and I was looking for and you inspire me to teach when I'm older. I'm really thankful for your, everything you did for me and for the VA department. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Mr. Eason. I just wanted to thank you for being such an amazing teacher and for um, helping me understand that it's not hard to get over like things that make you feel like your life is hard and make you feel like you don't want to go on anymore. And thank you for, for just teaching me that I can get through anything if I really just have the, motiv the motivation and the determination to get better. And thank you for reminding me that I should always keep balance in my life and always try to pursue what I'm, what I'm happy doing, like painting and drawing and like anything in art. And thank you for just like helping me really like come to what like art truly is. And that I, and I hope you have a really on balance and peaceful rest of your life. Hello, Mr. Eason. Thank you for being the most um, attentive and energetic teacher that I've ever had. And I've learned the most from you out of all of the art teachers that I've had before. So I very much appreciate that. And you've really inspired me to um, like pursue my dream of being an art teacher as well. Thank you. Um, I just want to say thank you to Mr. Easton. Uh, you've been one of my favorite teachers throughout my time at Duke Ellington. Um, even when you could annoy me sometimes and I don't really want to do the work or I get frustrated, you're always there to support us and um, you don't really care. I mean, you care, but you don't really get uh, offended if we're mad at you because you know it's not personal. So uh, I wanted to say thank you and I'll miss you. Um, hi, Mr. E. Thank you so much for being such a compassionate and hardworking head of department at Duke Ellington. You've been so like kind with everybody. I don't even take your class and I know how like of like a warm heart you have. Just like 
bringing in snacks. You're so generous with your time and energy. You were really hardworking and a great head of department. Thank you. Uh, dear Mr. E, thank you so much for being my teacher. You made my Ellington experience the best it could possibly be. Um, I'm going to miss you a lot. I'm really sad that I don't have you for painting because you are an amazing painter and I'm so glad that I met you in my life. I wish the best for you and I hope that nothing but happiness comes your way uh, towards the future now. Uh, thank you so much. Yo, so Mr. E, uh, I know I didn't have any really classes with you, but I still had a lot of interactions with you outside of class. And I just always loved your energy. Always loved the energy you brought to the great, you know, with the whole, what's going on over here? What time is the VA? You know, uh, it was just a good time, good vibes, good energy. So it's, it's gonna be, you know, a little weird not having that energy always around because you're just always at 10 or 11. And that's just something I appreciate. So uh, it's, it's gonna be you know, weird without you, but I feel like, you know, <laughs> you don't have to stay behind. It's not like we're not gonna survive without you. We're gonna be fine without you, no offense. But like, you know, but I, I hope, you know, you have like, a good time, be retired, hope you rest well, hope you have, you know, just a nice life in general. It was good to have you, you know? We've had a couple personal talks and I feel like those, in general, those helped me a lot. Just as a person, I'm gonna, you know, hold on to those for a while. So I have to thank you for that. So overall, you're just a wise person. Not saying that because you're old. I promise I'm not saying that because you're old. Just a lot of wisdom. So uh, thank you, Ms. D. Um, hi, Mr. Easton. You are always very encouraging with your words and very positive. I hope you don't lose that spirit after retirement. And I hope you have a nice life after retirement. Mr. E's uh, persistence and enthusiasm in art has always helped me continue improving and working on my art even when it seems as though I can't fix something. He always can find something that can either be worked on or he finds something that he enjoys and appreciates and it's really great to have his feedback um, whenever we're working on projects. Hey, Mr. E, I just wanted to say how we will miss you so much. And I just wanted to say that I am very happy to have been your student for the last two years. And I am glad that you were my teacher. You supported us a lot and you gave us lots of snacks. Thank you for that. Really, thank you. And um, I was just very sad that you're leaving, but I'm happy for you and I hope that you have a really good time during retirement. And I just wanted to say thank you for doing, being you, and thank you for all the things you've done for us. So yeah, bye. Um, hi, Mr. Easton. Um, yeah, being a student of yours was really an honor for me. I really appreciate the energy you always brought to my room, as I told you, within the first week of school. I, it really helps me wake up in your class and it really helps me acknowledge exactly what you're saying because I feel the energy and I feel what you're trying to say with, to me and it doesn't feel bland and it feels like I could actually do what you're telling me and your class really inspired me and I loved your assignments. I also appreciate your feedback outside of the class and your one-on-one -on -one, it's always helped me and i can always take from your class and i always feel like i will always remember the energy you brought to the room so yeah hi mr easton it's Gigi, and i just wanted to say thank you so much for being a very big support for me and my peers in the department. We really appreciated you and I do consider you like family. You're one of the greatest teachers I've ever had for art and you really nurtured my ability to create and to love what I create too because when I first came here I didn't really enjoy what I was making but after having you in class and outside of class you really helped me get out of that and enjoy what I was doing so thank you for that. And yeah, I hope you have a good time at home resting because you deserve it. So thank you. <laughs> Hi, Mr. E. I'll miss you. You might not remember me. I didn't take any of your classes, 
but you have made a great impact on my life and for that I am grateful. I hope wherever your journey leads, it's successful and it's great. Thank you. So Mr. E has done so much for us in the department and also with me. He's always been supportive and caring, always putting the students first, which has been really important, especially with everything we go through with this department, just the long days and all that. And he's with always putting the students first, that means with everything from safety to mental health and He's always there. So even like during the weekends, if you need to send an email, I need an extension, I had a bad weekend or whatever, he's always there. Um, and even though I didn't have him as a teacher uh, for like a full class, he was still always a mentor coming into classes, still giving advice, still critiquing, always helping, always being a guiding hand. Hey, Mr. E, just wanted to thank you for all the stuff that you've taught me and for being an amazing teacher last year. And yeah, have a great time in retirement and I'll see you, hopefully see you soon. Um, so hi, Mr. E. Um, I'm really sad to see you're leaving and I was really hoping to see to see you in, your, in class this year and next year. I'm going to miss you because out of this, like, just everything you were you honestly are the reason why I kept on going and why I kept on doing art and why my art is the way it is today and I just want to thank you for that and I hope you're okay and I hope you find your peace bye okay um, so Mr. E was actually never my teacher because I'm new, but because he's the department leader, we got to see him all the time and he always popped into our classrooms. And he really was an inspiring person to me because he, number one, I love his art. And he was always able to give such amazing advice, even though like we didn't really know each other because he was never my teacher, but he still always showed kindness to me by giving me advice when I really needed it in a very kind, kind way. Like some of the other teachers here, like they're really strict, but Mr. E, he always knew how to talk to you in a way that made you feel respected. Um, and I really appreciate him for that. And I'm, it makes me sad that he's not like gonna be my teacher next year. So I'll definitely miss him. Uh, hi, Mr. E. I never really interacted with you a lot because I never had you as a teacher, but you still managed to impact me as a student and as an artist because you always set a very inspirational role and you always cared about all of us, even if you didn't know us. And I think that that's really beautiful <laughs> for you to do as a teacher and just as a role model, because a lot of kids need it and you really gave us what we needed. So thank you. Okay. Um... I really enjoyed my freshman year with Mr. Easton taking drawing one, and I really liked how lively and entertaining his classes were. And I really liked how he pushed me as an artist. It was some hard times in drawing one with him, but he really helped me get better at things that I didn't know I was good at. Hi, Mr. Uh, thank you for your encouraging energy and all the nice things you say about us. It always lifts our mood. Uh, the work can be hard, but you help us get through it. We're gonna miss you. I never really got to have you as a teacher, and I, that, I didn't really know you that well, but when we did interact, it was always positive, and I really enjoyed it, and I, can, I, t I could tell that you really brought a lot of energy to the whole department, and I'm thankful that you are here. Uh, I know like I didn't really get to take your class uh, throughout the entire year, and I'm really sad that you're leaving, but I'm thankful that you were always very encouraging and you always cared about my personal well-being as well as my mental. And you helped me out with a lot of things, including my self-esteem and so much more. And you always gave me really great tips and stuff on my art, even when I wasn't really feeling too great or when it, I didn't feel like it looked good enough. You were always there to push me and keep me moving, as well as my entire class. And I thank you so much for that, even though you didn't get to be my real teacher this um, this year, but I'm thankful for all that you've done for me and the entire department, and I hope that you get everything that you deserve and more. All right. 
Mystery, you're lucky you're our favorite um, VA department head because I'm sure you know that a lot of us really hate being in front of cameras and talking. You know, as a freshman, I was a really scared, shivering mess of a kid. Still am, you know, but after getting hunted down by you to finish my assignments for two years now, you know, now I have other things to be scared about rather than talking to a camera. Thank you for that. Made my life easier now, actually. Um, I will say that we're all sad, me especially, that you're leaving. We already had Mr. Little leave. That was already really depressing. And we're definitely going to miss you. You're going to have to be required to come to our graduation. You know, that's not an option. Thank you. I really don't know what to say. And I don't know how to express like how much you've done for me, for all of us, both as like a good teacher and also like as a person, because um, you've taught us amazing things. You know, you're a master in your craft. But you're also, you know, a father, a grandfather, and we can see that, we can feel that. And like, as teenagers, we need someone to look up to. Just know that what you've taught us for these past three years, it's gonna have a big effect on my life for as long as I live. And I'm definitely gonna use the lessons that I've learned in the future and hopefully pass it on to other kids in the future so they can also you know take a better step forward in life and i just want to say thank you and don't forget us please <laughs> that's it um hey mr easton uh thank you for being our our chair for uh the va department um it's been it's been um nice being your student and i've learned a lot from you um, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've taught me, um, for disciplining me, and I will, I will forever cherish, cherish these, um, these moments that you've taught me in the future through my art. Thank you, Mr. Easton. Um, hi, Mr. E. Uh, Thank you so much for teaching me about how powerful art can be and how I can make an impact through my own art. You've helped me so much in finding my voice and thank you, you're one of the best teachers I've ever had. I'll say that I'm grateful for the opportunity to have worked with Mr. E and also have studied under him as a student. I'm a graduate of the Ellington program 2012. Um, I've learned so much about what it means to be really an adult, <laughs> kind of like navigating like teaching and working with students and being a professional under him, what it looks like to like teach with passion and energy and excitement with your students, but also fun. So it has been an excellent learning opportunity and I'm a better person because of it. I wish you well on your endeavors and like I wish you well moving forward and in anything you do. I'm excited to see your art career go like this, take off big things and excited that you have the time to dedicate all of your energy and passion that you give to the students, to yourself. I am now uh, uh, moving out and passing the baton to a new rising young uh, phenomenal artist, a uh, young lady by the name of uh, uh, Casey. You guys will hear more from her and what her vision is for the department as I move out. But once again, uh, I'd like to take this time out to say that my tenure here at Ellington has been amazing. I've had an opportunity to work with uh, some really, really talented, talented young artists. And um, I'm just so grateful to have had the opportunity to do that. Uh, once again, welcome to Ellington. And my name is Mike Easton.